Hello everyone, it's Mr. So again. Uh, this is another game that we like to play in our classroom. Uh, I just call it the hundreds chart. What it teaches the students to do is realize their patterns and numbers, and especially adding in tens, twos, fives, and ones can really build those patterns up. Eventually this can be turned into multiplication later on when they get into the older grades. Uh, the, what you need for this game is the, is the game board. This game board can be found on the class website or in the classroom. Um, you'll need some sort of markers in some ways. Anything can work. Coins, uh, toys, um, just something small and that you can move along. You'll need a paper clip as well to create that spinner and you'll need a pencil in order for that to spin. Now the nice thing about these is that all you do is flick and whatever it lands on, so in this case it landed on plus five, you would then take your marker and move five. Now some kids may go one, two, three, four, five. Some may say, oh there's five. Um, the, what you want to encourage the students to do is start to realize how much five is. So that if they got a five again, they don't have to count one, two, three, four, five. They just go five and five is ten. That is the goal, but eventually they'll be working up towards it. And then of course the next person goes again. Um, the winner of the game is the person who makes it to a hundred. Uh, by all means have discussions around uh, how much, how, where the patterns are happening, what happens when they move 10, what happens when they move 5, what do you notice about those numbers? Those are great questions to be asking as you play this game. I hope you enjoy.